Importing a car from Japan to Canada can be an exciting process, but it can also be daunting and feel overwhelming if you're not familiar with how to do it. In this video, we will explore the process of importing a car from Japan to Canada and then driving it on the street. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Step 1. Find a reputable exporter in Japan or an importer in Canada. There are many exporters in Japan that specialize in exporting cars. It is important to do your research and find an exporter that has a good reputation and track record of successful exports. An exporter is a little more difficult route to go if you're new to this process because there'll be some more paperwork and you will either need to pick up the car from the port or arrange your own shipping to your location. A very popular exporter is JDM Expo. You can see they have some amazing cars on the site and for some pretty decent prices. You can find modified cars on here as well, but I would advise on being careful when buying a modified car if you want to put it on the road. But if you're looking for a drift car, then you don't have to worry. They are a reputable importer with over 36 years of experience. They are an independent subsidiary of the parent company Nico Auto Co LTD and is recognized as one of the most reliable importers by Japan Used Motor Vehicle Exporter Association. They list all the steps to buy a vehicle on their website. JDM Expo will deliver vehicles to almost anywhere that's legal. The car has to be at least 25 years old to import to the USA or 15 years old in Canada other than Quebec and PEI. The exporter will arrange for the shipping. The shipping process can take several weeks or even months depending on the shipping method and the location of the exporter. When the car arrives in Canada, you will need to pay import duties and taxes. These fees can be quite high, so it's important to factor them into your budget when importing a car. So here we are on the JDM Expo website. They lay everything out really easy for you to understand. You can check their vehicle inventory, Japan car auction, uh, USA JDM imports. So that's JDM imports that have already been imported to the USA and you can purchase them there. So we'll check out vehicle inventory, JDM Sports, and see what they have. Toyota Supra, Mazda RX-7, R31 Skyline, R34 Skyline, Honda Prelude. Let's check out how much this Prelude is. Uh, 20,000 for this Prelude. That must be very clean. Um, 90,000 kilometers. Just legal to import to America, Honda Prelude SIR Type S. It says probably the lowest mileage SIR Type S on the market. That's a bold claim. But you can see they have lots of really cool cars here for whatever you're looking for. Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Toyota, Subaru, Honda. Let's check out the Toyotas for a sec. Uh, Supras, older Supras, MR2 GT, Toyota Chaser, Mark II, my favorite. Land Cruisers, all kinds of different stuff. You can see some of these are sold and the ones up here are still available. And if you're interested in this site, you can come on here and just click how to buy and they lay everything out for you as simple as possible. Now for an importer based here in Canada. The importer I would probably most recommend is B Pro Auto out of Calgary, Alberta. They have been in the business over a decade and have great reviews from everyone that's used them. I myself have gone through them to order a JZX100 Mark II and a close friend of mine imported a Toyota Altezza through them and had a really smooth experience. On their site they have a Japan inventory of cars that they have pre-selected. These cars are in Japan and can be purchased for you. You can see the price at the top is cleared customs price. That's the price of the car and shipping to Canada, duties and everything included so there's no hidden fees. If you live in BC, that's the exact price you will pay and you can go pick up the car and take it home. The only other cost you would have to take care of is shipping the car from the port in BC to another province if you're located elsewhere. But BPro Auto can actually help you ship the car pretty much anywhere in Canada with insurance for a good price. They can even have it dropped off at a shop for inspection, so they really take all the difficult work out of importing a car. Pick the car you want, email them, you place a $1,000 deposit, and if the car is available, you pay the rest of the balance and sit back and relax, and in six to eight weeks, your JDM import will arrive in Canada. You can see on their site, they have mostly unmodified cars, which I think is great, but they do also have some higher end ones with modifications. Let's check out a few. So here we are now on B Pro Imports located in Calgary, Alberta. So you can go down here and check out some of their Japan inventory, and you can kind of see these prices are a lot more reasonable, and they're more stock cars, obviously with a little bit higher mileage, but still 8,500 Toyota Crown Majesta, 73,000 kilometers. That's insane. 1995 Subaru Legacy, 49,000 kilometers, 8,100. That's Canadian and that's the cleared customs price. Like I said, so that's import fees, everything included in that price. And this is just a, this is just a small example of some of the stuff they have. You can see Toyota Celsior, Lexus, uh, 
1997. This was obviously probably a NA skyline, but 95,000 kilometer skyline, 9,500, looks pretty clean. Some really cool stuff on here, like Lexus GS. I think these have a 2JZ in them. I'm not 100% sure. Interior looks clean. And yeah, it is a 2JZ two two model, this uh, Lexus G GS. So if you've been looking for a cheap 2JZ drift car, and you can see they do have some featured cars that are pretty nice. Like here we have a 1992 Nissan 180SX, a 1997 180SX as well, I guess. This one looks like it's quite modified. So if you're interested in importing a car, I definitely recommend you come onto the site and at least take a look around. I know some of you will probably spend a few hours looking through all these cars and it's definitely worth it. If you can't find something in their inventory that interests you, they take custom orders so that you can tell them the exact car you're looking for and they will find it for you. They have access to all the auctions and even private sellers and dealers in Japan. You can also go on their site and use it to look through a couple different popular auction sites in Japan like Yahoo Auctions. If you find something you like, you can send them an email and they will bid on it for you. What to do once your car is in Canada. When your car has arrived and been picked up or shipped to you, it will need to be inspected and registered in Canada. The first step would be to find an insurance company that handles imports. It's not really more expensive, but not all insurance companies deal with them. You need proof of insurance to get your temporary plates, and then you can drive the car to get the safety inspection and out of province inspection. After it passes its safety, out of province test, and possibly an emissions test, depending on the year of your car, it can be fully transferred into your name and plated. The out of province inspection can usually be completed at Canadian Tire or most other garages for around $100 to $150. The final step, enjoy your car. It is important to familiarize yourself with the rules and regulations for driving an imported car in Canada as they can be different from those for domestic cars. One thing you might have to do is enable daytime running lights as they're required in some provinces and cars from Japan are usually not set up that way, but that's a pretty easy fix. Importing a car from Japan to Canada can be a complex process, but if you find the right importer or exporter, it can be an easy, enjoyable experience. In conclusion, if you're not an expert at this, it's best to find a reputable importer or exporter. Inspect the car thoroughly and factor in all the costs to get the car. Once you've completed these steps, you can finally enjoy your JDM car on the streets of Canada. I had an idea for another video talking about what kind of mods are legal for your street cars in Ontario and other provinces in Canada, referring to custom steering wheels, aftermarket seats, and aftermarket four-point harnesses for a road legal vehicle. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more content about importing cars and possibly some future content featuring our imports. Thanks for watching.